how optimistic is the United States of a joint declaration uh, in this G20? It's difficult to get 20 clocks to chime at the same time. The Indians also would like to see a, a, a joint communique, if you will. Um, so we'll, we'll see where it goes. Rina Bhardwaj, a and um, In New Delhi, how optimistic is the United States of a joint declaration uh, in this G20? We hope so. We certainly hope so. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, it's difficult to get 20 clocks to chime at the same time. So uh, we're going to have to, you know, we're going to work on this. We know that the uh, the Indians also would like to see a, a, a joint communique, if you will. Um, so we'll, we'll see where it goes. The, oftentimes, the sticking point tends to be the war in Ukraine. Uh, because uh, countries like uh, Russia and China are less likely to uh, to sign on to language um, that the rest of the international community is more than comfortable signing on to. So we'll see where it goes. It's certainly going to be a, uh, an appropriate follow on to their very robust bilateral discussions here when we had when we hosted Prime Minister uh, Modi uh, at the White House not long ago uh, for a very complete uh, uh, and official visit. Uh, uh, I think you can expect that they will discuss the agenda for the G20, particularly the economic cooperation and multilateral investment opportunities that stand before the G20, and the president's strong desire to see multilateral development bank uh, reform and reshaping continue. Um, uh, I have little doubt that they will also talk about the shared challenge of climate change uh, and how much we are hoping to have a robust discussion at the G20 about a transition to clean energy technology and to see more countries, more G20 countries invest in more clean energy technology as well as efforts to curb greenhouse gases. Um, I have little doubt that they will also discuss the ongoing war in, in Ukraine uh, and the effect, the deleterious effect that that war is ha having on low and middle income countries, which again comes right back to the economic cooperation issue. So, uh, and then I think, um, uh, you know, I, I think just issues in general about uh, uh, security, economic, uh, and diplomatic challenges throughout the Indo Pacific uh, will, will certainly be uh, something that they discuss.